Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Psychic Crafts. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> I want to thank those of you who uh, sent out your well wishes and prayers. I have been out for about the week and, um, you know, I, I got the Rona. I did. Remember those pillows Chloe donated? <clears throat> right after she got sick. Why did I not think of that? Yep, I got it too. So, I'm feeling much better today. Thank you all for, for thinking of me and for sending me messages and stuff. I want to craft today. I want to craft with you today. I have been doing some crafting. I'm making um, some, you know, I had spurts here and there where I was able to get up and, and do some things, but um, haven't done any real crafting. I, I've been watching videos, and I've been inspired to try some stamping. Everybody is doing their stamping right now, and they're Christmasing, and I thought, you know what? I want to play with stamps and, and stamps and embossing and all those goodies too. I've got all those things in my stash. Let's play with some. So that's kind of what I want to do today. I want to try some different techniques that I saw and using some of the things that I have, see what works, what doesn't, um, and just kind of, you know, play. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I, uh, um, I'm looking forward to it. So first I want to try these trees. There's, there's quite a few stencils I'd, I'd love to give a try. I'm not going to do it all on, on video today, but there's quite a few things that I'd like to just play with and see how they go. For one, I know how to use my distress oxide, my, my distress inks, but I'm thinking about doing some embossing over them with some clear and seeing if this will work or if it'll pick it up or if the oxides will change colors versus the inks. I know the inks won't change colors. If it'll lift and I mean I just want to see how they react. Uh, before I go in to make some cards for Christmas I, I kind of want to play with the technique a little bit and see you know how these things will work together if they work together at all. So um, I hope you'll stick around and, and join me um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you did. Over 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. So I can't believe it. You keep coming in. Come check it out. You know, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Love to have you join the family. Um, those of you who are oop, participating in the card challenge, the birthday card challenge that started in August, it is almost over. So you need to get your card in if you haven't already. Just want to send out that little reminder. I hope that you'll, ooh, you know what, I wanted to do this pink and green. I'm going into the lumberjack plaid, which is more of a red. I think I'm going to stay out of that for now. Um, so get your cards in. They got to get to me before Halloween. Or I need to at least know that they're on the way. There's, I know one of, one of you is out of the country, and um, I'll be making sure to count that one. Even if it doesn't make it. And let's see how this does. I think we're going to get some purple in there too, don't you? Oops, we slid a little bit. Now you can tape this all down. I'm just experimenting today and I'm getting what I get. I'm not going to throw a fit. <laughs> Who do you think I've been watching the last couple nights? Um, I'm okay if it turns pink. This one, this brush, I don't know if it's this brush. I think it's this pad. Give me just a second. I'm going to try to wipe that off. I think it's the pad. I don't think it's the brush at all. Um, I used some embossing powder and, and spilled it. And I think it went onto this pad because I'm getting, I'm getting grit coming off of there. Let me make sure my brush is clean too. But I think it's that pad. And it's getting all over. I can see it. It won't be a problem with the end result, but I can feel it and I don't want... I don't want that to be, you know, a mess continually. So let's see how this one turns out. Oh, that's cute. For a um, pastel Christmas, that's really cute. Okay, so let's put this lid on here. I'm going to wipe this off because I'm going to be using... I'm going to use some clear embossing. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right back over here. See, this would have been a good idea to tape it down, but I can get it pretty pretty close. And if not, again, we're just experimenting today. Let's learn how to use some things. Maybe you guys can learn some from my mistakes. You're probably shouting at the screen. 
already, it's not going to work, or it's going to work, what are you doing? Or who knows, who knows what everybody shouts at the screen at me. <laughs> sometimes I feel like I can hear you, and sometimes I sure can't. Alright, so we're going to pounce on here. Alright, there we go. Now I'm curious if this liquid is going to um, activate that ink or not. So we'll just pounce, pounce, pounce. I guess I can go faster. No reason to take all day at it, huh? This embossing ink or stuff smells really nice. It did pick up some of that ink on there. I'm not too worried about that. Um, let's see about, let's see about, I forgot to get a piece of paper going under there. Uh, I know I've got some here somewhere though. Here, we'll just use one of these. Burp. We'll just use one of these. I know exactly where it goes to and it won't ruin it or anything. Right under here so we can pour that powder. We're just going to put clear this is Hero Arts. I'm just using what I have, guys. Oh, this is not sponsored or anything. It says it's clear. It's pretty opaque at the moment. All right, let me put this in this part. And we're just gonna, hopefully some of that stuck. Yeah, it's not perfect, but that's okay. See, I missed some spots in there with the dabber, but that's okay. I'll, again, I'm just playing today. I'm not really worried about that. And honestly, I think it gives it some charm when you miss some of those spots. See, this is where I messed up last time and ended up spilling, I think. Let's pour that back in there. Oh, no, last time I dumped the pot. That's what it was. I don't know what I did, but I dumped the pot. It was bad. It was everywhere. All right, now my heating gun... I dropped it next to my desk. And I've got this guy. Couldn't tell you where it's from. Couldn't tell you how long I've had it, but you can see it's been through some stuff. But it's a heat gun. Okay, let's use it. It's going to be a little noisy, but that's not too bad. Let me get it warm quick. And... I'm not a pro at this, so we're learning together. My cat is coughing. What's up, Momo? You okay? This is taking a bit, isn't it? You know what? Then look, that ink is, is changing a little bit, isn't it? Why is this not doing anything? Mm -hmm, that is not clear. But I kind of like it, but it's not what it said it is. We're going to check that label in a minute. It's cute nonetheless. There's one lesson. Don't believe my labels. It says clear. But I will say, um, this is very old bottle to me. I've had this for, 
well, this says 2016. Um, I don't, wasn't doing cards in 2016. So I guess it's, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's not clear. It's not clear. Thank you, Hero Arts. If this was important, I would have ruined it. So what I'm going to do is, um, unless I mixed, now I could have mixed some powders. It's possible. I don't know, but it's not likely. White. Good thing I tried it. Okay. There. So now we know it's white. Actually, I like it. I like how it turned out because it left a lot of the pink and the green and the color. I can definitely use this as a background. I think it's darling. Um, I'm happy with it. Now it did stick in some spaces in between because I didn't use, you can use the little, I want to make the, the little buddies that you can sprinkle. But it's okay because snow, you know, isn't only on trees. It does kind of float. So I think it's really cute. And I love that I missed that tree. Really, really cute. Okay. The ink did change, seem to change just a little bit with the, um, the liquid, I think. I feel like it oxidized a little bit. I'm not unhappy with that at all. So I do recognize that there's some, some differences there. So that's kind of cool. We got one background. That's a card. Should we do another? Maybe we can do... Um, should we do some more traditional colors maybe this time? I'm going to go straight up with this one. Let's see. Let's do... Oh, I don't didn't bring a green down because... Didn't I get... Oh, wait a minute. I might have gotten a green in the smaller sizes. Did I? Did I? Did I? I bought all these tiny inks for a class I, I took. And then I never finished the class. I need to do that. Because um, I needed all the colors. I couldn't afford to go get them all in the big inks, ink pads. Some of these I already had, but... Let me see if I got a green. I feel like I ordered greens, guys. Didn't I order some greens? I know I did, just recently. Now I got blues. I don't think I got greens. Well, that's my next purchase then. Didn't I? Well, shoot, I just dumped that out. But what's this? snow fabric paste and texture paste. Okay, I don't know if I really need those. It's like something like that. All right, there's no greens in there. Okay, I'm going to order some greens because I don't have any. So, unless I got them in the oxides, that could be possible. Let's put these pastes away since we're holding them in my hand. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so what we'll do then is we'll use this one it's close enough again we're just playing and it'll be muted down anyway so let's get out do i have a red i have this is closest we'll use this we'll use this we're just gonna kind of i don't know what i was thinking about red trees gonna look like they're on fire oh well we're just playing with color right just playing with with color I was gonna say fire oh my goodness all right let's do green yeah this doesn't look Christmassy at all I'm still getting grit in there what the heck man Boop. kind of looks like a red white and blue doesn't it? That's funny. Should we add an orange in there for fall? I mean, we might as well go for it. Here's kind of an orangey color. Oh, it's tea dye. It's not orange at all. Kind of, in this combination anyway. Why not? Let's see what happens. It's turning muddy. <clears throat> it's kind of cute though, huh? It's all right. You know what I'd like to do though? Okay. I'm not trying to save this because I don't think there's any saving it involved. Where was this at? This was here? Here. I think I want some of this color in there. This is aged mahogany. It's a deeper... 
I'm going to put some of this in there. Oh yeah, that's nice. That actually looks a little more fallish. Oh fun. Even though pine trees are evergreen. But it brings in the fall colors, doesn't it? How cute! I do like that! I think I could use that. Okay. Now I still want to do, I want to do the dauber again. We're going to do it again. Clean this off. These are those towels I keep talking about from Timu. Aren't they amazing? These are just soft. I got a whole stack of them over here. I pulled them all out of the package the other day and just folded them and stacked them and they're ready to go. I like that. I actually really like that. Those colors are really beautiful. Just playing with color today, being inspired. All right, let's see. I kind of want to hit and miss some spots again because that was kind of nice. And I think we're going to go with the white. Well, we might as well try the other one. I wonder if, no, I was going to say, I wonder if I mixed the jars up, but that's not possible because the jar is what's labeled. So let's go with the other one that says it's white. Maybe they made a mistake. Simon says stamp isn't going to mess that up. All right. Let's uh, let's try this one. I mean, if they're all white, I might as well just mix them all together and have one jar. Actually, I think I have another. I have a big jar of embossing powder. I wonder where that is. It's, it's got to be in there. That's a WOW brand. And I was going to mix them all and didn't. Just put it all in a tub, huh, like everybody else does. It would be so much easier. I'm sure I've got one here somewhere that I could put it in. I'm gonna love this. I just know it. I just know it. I just know I'm gonna love it. Okay. I'm having too much fun. Somebody stop me. All right, let's try this one. Let's see where this one goes. oxidation which is making it really nice. The, the teal is coming out a little more green. Oh that snow is popping up nice. Oh yeah. I covered this one better, so it's going to be more white than, than the colors, and that's okay too. I love watching that embossing powder just bloom for lack of better words. Because it melts. It gets hot. Oops, one more spot right there. <clears throat> Alright, so we know that that one is white as well. Beautiful. I think I missed the spot. Hang on. Oh, I missed a couple. There we go. That's really pretty too, actually. It's just a different color combination. I like it. Again, I know trees aren't red. I don't know what I was thinking there, but that's the color I grabbed. So we've got two of those, and they've got the white embossing. Those are different brands. They look just the same. I wouldn't say one worked better than the other, but I'm not here for a review either. So I do want to see, though... <clears throat> because I know I have that big old jar. This one says it's clear. 
do another one. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a different stencil though, because I only need so many tree backgrounds, right? Let's not be boring. Hopefully you guys are still sticking it out with me. Let me wipe this embossing goo off of here. Let's try something different. Um, I do want, let's see, I've got these, I got these last Christmas, or after last Christmas actually. And I think they're all Christmas words. Let's try some of these, this will be nice. Make some tags out of them probably. Cheer, peace, believe. Here, let's try cheer. Let's try cheer. That's what I'm trying to do today is be cheerful. I'm still not 100%, so let's try to be cheerful, right? Let's I'll try this. Let's try it on some craft paper. I'd love to make some tags with some craft paper. I'm digging that red tree thing. I'm liking that. As I'm sitting here staring at it, I really... Mm -hmm, it's a good one. I know it's definitely not traditional, but here, let's do it this way so I can get a couple tags out of this if I do it right. We're going to use the mahogany. And this is just a stress ink. This is not the, the oxide. Let's see how that turns out. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, and then I want to do the same. Let's wipe this off. <coughs> Excuse me. Please forgive my cough. And my raspy voice and all of it. Now this one I do want to kind of cover all of it because I want it to be glossy. And I do want to try this with the oxide as well because, um, see, that's more what I would expect glossy to look like. It's a little more transparent, it looks like. So we'll try that. So if that's the case, I'm going to put all my white ones in a container. We'll keep this clear one in this container. Well, or put it in something else, I guess. Something a little easier to work with. Actually, that's not hard to work with. It's got a big opening. Oh, much better. That's what I was looking for. Much better. Okay, so that's got the clear over it. That's gorgeous. I really like that. I think it's going to look more cheerful and bright on a, or merry and bright, on a um, white piece of paper. But I like it, and that's definitely how it worked. So let's try, let's try lumber, lumberjack plaid. I'm going to go ahead and leave this sitting still and wipe it off because the, when I wiped that ink off earlier, it went onto the white paper, and I'd rather it just went back onto this craft paper where I was working. So we'll do that. Lumberjack plaid is oxide, so if there's any difference is what I'm curious about with the oxides. I might want to go back to a white piece of paper next and try it there because I think, thinking about it, I would probably see the difference better there. But let's give it a try. I might be able to dump this directly into here instead of going to the paper. It 
begin. I'm not seeing any oxidation here. I don't think so. It looks pretty solid. Very nice. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Those colors don't look too far off. I love the darker portions in here. Can you guys see how it's darker in, in the middle here? I don't know if I put more ink there. Maybe. It's possible. It's poss It's always possible. I need some coffee. Oh, goodness. Forgive me if I'm a little rambly today. I haven't talked much in the last couple days, so... Let's see what else we can do. I'm loving the trees. I love this, too. Um... I'm trying to stick with. I don't. I guess I don't have a lot of Christmas ones. Just these these ones, which is fine. Holiday jingle wonder humbug. Let's do a humbug. And you know what? We're gonna do it in green. I don't have green. Why don't I have green? I can't do it in green. That sucks. Okay. Well. Holiday jingle wonder. You know what? Let's do a blue one in wonder. Cause I always think of blue, the snowy season, the blues and the and those colors when when that word comes up. Now let's see how that turns out. Um, come on! I know I grabbed that color. Maybe I didn't, but I did. Chip sapphire is gorgeous. Did I grab another blue? You know what? We could play. We could play. Put some different colors there. Let's see what other blue is. Did I grab another blue? Did not. That's okay. But I did grab this gray. I want to play with these colors. I'm going to start in with gray because that's the lightest one. And I see I must oh you know what I have that green in a different a different brand I think which is fine it doesn't matter but I don't know which one and I don't want us to go get it we're just gonna play with what we have we're just we're just playing okay okay so I'm just gonna kind of go lightly in here I say lightly but that was kind of heavy-handed wasn't it and then I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go in with this one, because I think the blue is going to cover it up. I'm just going to use that straight, just like the way it is. Get some of that planted in there. I think these colors are going to kind of blend somewhat, I'm thinking, which is kind of cool. What day is it? is it today? Happy Saturday! It's Saturday. <sighs> Can't believe it. I missed a, almost a whole week of work, you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, you know what? God will provide. He always does. Okay. Look at this. Wonder. It's a little dark. I went a little overboard. But I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be nice. Oops, I wanted to put that back over. Um, let's see here. Dabber. So here's what I'm thinking I want to kind of do. Call me crazy. You probably already do. I'd like to put, I really 
does smell nice. Um, I want to put a little bit of the white up on the top. Like snow caps. that off because I don't want that going into my pot later. And then I want to sprinkle the clear down at the bottom. And I'm not dumping it because I don't want to use too much because I'm going to end up dumping this out. I don't want to I don't want to contaminate one pot or the other. Especially this one. I don't want to contaminate the clear one. The, the white one isn't going to matter if it gets clear in it, I guess, but the opposite direction, it could be a problem. Because if you're expecting it to be clear and it's not, that's a problem. All right, let's see how that goes. so cool look how cute that is that um <clears throat> we could do that with uh, mountain scenes look how beautiful that looks can you see that it's got the clear on the bottom and the white up on the top it's kind of shiny it's nice that's great that's fun I'm definitely gonna use that again all right so I'm curious about what are you guys curious about? I wish you could like shout out to me right now. Okay, we did that one too. Curious about. I wonder what pastes would do through some of these. I can't remember what what Tim said. My buddy Tim had so many instructions and so many products, and he did such a great job explaining them. But I had COVID brain. So let's try something. I want to try. <clears throat> I'm going to do this on. Should I do it on? Let's do it on white. I want to try. We're just going to do one color right now because I'm not going to. I'm not playing with color right now. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Ooh, you know what? I'm lying. Let's do two colors. wiping some of it off though by doing that okay so lesson learned on there when I use that on there I'm wiping off some of the ink that's not what I intended but I'm not gonna mess with I'm not gonna fuss with that so I'm going to get out my little spatula I think I think I can get to it I've moved that drawer set so spatula is in a different place now and I have some things in front of it because I haven't worked there yet. <clears throat> I haven't worked through that. So let's toss that stuff on the floor with the rest of it and find a little spatula. That maybe I just don't have one anymore. I did throw away some things when I was cleaning. Oh, you guys, I don't even have my lights on. 
I am out of practice here. We need that. Is there a spatula in here? I guess this will work. Will it? I don't know. No, I can't really get a grip on a handle. That's not what it's for. Here, one. That's what I was looking for. This will work. Now, this sparkle texture paste. I don't remember what he said about this going over oxides and stuff. So I guess we're going to learn. Da, 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 da. I think it may activate it so he doesn't want me to work it. Because, you know, he's talking directly to me in his videos, of course. It's probably the COVID brain that makes me think that. But we're going to make sure that's not contaminated before I put it back in there. And then it's still the correct color. Now, am I supposed to heat this? I don't remember. I should probably read the directions. We're going to wipe that off because I don't have a lasagna pan. So I'm going to wipe it off. Hopefully it'll wash in the laundry. I'm going to get a clean towel after this too because I don't want to accidentally wipe that on something. Let's make a little laundry pile over here. Let me read the destructions. It says, apply to surface with a palette knife and allow to dry. To colorize wet tint, wet paste by mixing in dye, re-inker using a palette knife. To clean, clean paste from tools and surfaces while wet. Did that. So what I'm thinking when it's saying that is it may pull the color out and turn it purple. And that's fine with me. That's what we're testing. So there it is. It's got a little texture to it. We're going to set this aside to dry. I believe it dries clear, right? Sparkle. Yeah, this one dries. It's translucent gloss paste with glitter flex. So it should be raised with um, clear raised with glitter. So I'm excited to see that. Mm -hmm. We got to learn how these things work before we put them on Baker Projects, right? And of course, even playing with these, I can, uh, you know, making them just to, to test, I can use these things. Okay, I've got to find that green because I can't stand it. I, I'm going to need to make a humbug. I'm sure somebody in my life needs a humbug tag on their present this year. Somebody does. So let's find that green color. And it's got to be here. I think... I think... I think it's this, actually. Even more. I think it's this. Or this. No, it's not that one. I think it's this one. This is what I used before. This is the little birdie. Excuse my sniffles. I'm so sorry. It's so rude. Oh, my ears are popping. Okay. We're going to do a humbug. Humbug. I need some greens, guys. This can't be my only green. Green is my favorite color. How do I not have green? I don't understand that. I really don't. Green is my favorite color, and I don't have green ink. Weird. So weird. You know what? There's some brown on this brush, too, and I don't even mind it mixing in. I hope I'm in screen. Gosh, please tell me I'm in screen. Why is this not coming off very well? Is it because I'm trying? So what's the date? To oh my gosh, you guys, Michael's opens up in my town in just a few days. I am so excited. So excited. On the 15th, they open. And I'm all for it. I think I work that date, which is probably a good thing. And since I haven't worked in a week, <laughs> I, pr 
probably won't be spending any money soon, but I'm excited. That's what matters. Okay. Should, what should we do with this one? Should we try that? Should we try the same paste and see? Because it's this is a pigment ink. I don't know what that means. I should know what that means, but I don't. I like that it's got different um, variations of pigment throughout. Should I try it with the glitter paste again? What's the other paste I got? <clears throat> Grit Paste Snowfall. Let's see. Sparkling translucent paste with clear glitter for textured dimensional effects. We might as well try this one too. Alright, so this is the, glit, the grit paste. I mean, I don't... I kind of remember what the video said, but I don't remember, remember. I'm more hands-on-ish, so if I haven't tried it, I probably won't remember. I don't think I want that stuff sticking to my scissors, though. It's all over the place. Let's get that out of here. Wipe that off. While it's wet, it said. It's already starting to dry, so that's a problem. Look at me, I'm playing with my new toys. Ooh, okay, I can see the difference. This is definitely gritty, which is the point. I think it's supposed to look like snow. Ooh, you know what would be cute? Should we just put snow on the top like the last one, like that other thing that I did? Maybe, let's just put it on the on the peaks of the, of the word. Let's just put it up here, like it's snow. Hopefully it won't lift the, the, that ink since it's a pigment dye or pigment. I don't know. Let's see what happens. See, it's just on the top. Let's see a little bit of that. Might be cute, right? Maybe. that paste out. I need to put some heat or a bond and I can't think. Press and seal in there. So mine don't, they don't get ruined like the last batch of pastes I got. That was disappointing last time I did that and opened them up. My pastes were like ruined. It's like oh, all that money. Did not get the use out of my intended. All right, last sip of coffee, I think. That was odd. Okay. Um, okay. A bit of a big old clump in the bottom of my cup. Okay, let's see here. How about let's have some fun with color. While those are drying, because I'm not, I'm not, I won't use any more paste. We'll emboss some more, but let's have some more fun with color. Let's go in and make some different colored polka dots. I always use them on the ring. I don't know why. Because I like to be difficult on myself, I guess. We'll do embossing, though. Because it, it it's fun. So let's put some colors on here. Let's use... Let's use this combo again. We'll just do the whole page and just... Have some fun with it. Am I getting other green on there? So what's happening right now? Let's go ahead and put some of that lavender in there. Even though some of those mixed will make lavender anyway. It's a pretty color. Ooh, it's kind of making a gray color. 
mixed with some of these others. Okay. What else? What else? What else? How about I'm tempted to peek? Should we peek? Oh, it's cute. Maybe nothing else. Maybe nothing else. It looks like there's less color on here when it's up down like this, huh? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back in. I'm not going to try to cover all of it. I think I'm just going to kind of go like that. Could have probably used the right side. This is uh, Tim Holtz's, um, and it doesn't have a number or anything identifying on it. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. We're going to put, should we put clear on it or should we put white on it? Put clear on it? Let's get the color. Let's have some fun. Let's make it pretty. Did you guys see in Tim's, um, I know a lot of you watch the video, some of you may not, but I know a lot of you do. Did you see the reptilian uh, embossing folder that he used for Halloween? I was trying really hard not to watch the Halloween videos, but when I woke up from my nap yesterday and it was already on, and I saw him playing with that, you know that I got on Amazon immediately and ordered it? I love it. Oh my gosh, I have ideas for that folder, so it's going to be here next week. Absolutely love that folder. Enough that I put him on pause and went in order. That was too cool. I was thinking alligator purses, yes. boots, all of the things. Wouldn't it be fun? If you're not sure what I'm referring to, you should go back to that video because that was pretty cool. Or just go check out the folder. Go in Amazon put it um, I put Tim Holtz Reptile in Boston. It was the first thing that popped up. This is pretty. This is really pretty. This would be great for even baby showers or something like that. The colors are just so soft. Can you see the, the, the shimmer? I wonder if some of the um, embossing powders are a little... Um, these look pitted. And I wonder if any of them, if you guys have more experience with embossing powders, let me know uh, if it's more of a smooth finish. Because these are all look pitted to me. I don't know how else to explain that, but is this coming up dry? Is it dry yet? It's getting there. That's kind of cool. Kind of looks a little slimy, but because the green is this dry. Nope, it's not dry yet. We'll leave that a little longer. It's coming up pretty though. Really cool. I'm having fun. This is fun. What else can we do? What else do I have in my drawer? What other? I have, ooh, have you guys used snow paste? I, I do have some of that, I think. I think I still have some. Snowfall, is this the, is that the same stuff I just used? Sparkling translucent, yeah, I think that's the one I just bought, huh? Sparkle, snowfall, snowfall, snowfall grip paste. So I do have some from last year I'd never actually even opened. That's awesome. Oh no, that's the one from this year that I haven't opened. I just, I mean, anyway, 
I have two jars of that. Expand paste. This is fun. Um, I think that's the one that looks like snow. Distress grit, pit grit paste. Translucent. So that's similar, but it's not the same, and that's cool. And let's try this expand paste if it's not dried out. This is fun. If this is the one I'm thinking it is. Flocking effects. Yes, this is the one I'm thinking it is. So, please, please don't be dried out. Oh, as sealed as this feels, it should be not dried out. Oh, it's good. I think it's good. This part is dried out. We'll peel that grossness out of there. This stuff is fun. So, I'm just going to slather this on a piece of this because I'll show you how it works um, but I don't really want to make a scene or anything right now so we'll just we'll just just do this watch Ooh, you know I could do it through a stencil though that would be fun maybe it might not work actually but we're gonna try it how about if I do in that case let's do it on white if we're gonna do oh we'll do it with ink not oxide. I think oxide color comes up in this. So let's do ink. Do I have, let's use red. H mahogany is nice. Oh my gosh, I think the kid's dog is howling downstairs. I think they just left for somewhere. And I think he's howling. I'm hearing a weird noise. That's why I got quiet really quick. I was like, what is that? I think he's howling. Silly dog. I'm babysitting tonight, the dog. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I haven't got to spend much time with him this week. Things good are happening for the kiddos. So they're, um, they seem to be in motion for all the changes they have planned. So I'm excited about that for them. I won't go into details there. Not, not my business. But let's put. We're gonna swipe this on the top like we did the others, as if snow is resting on the top of that holiday. We'll just go like this. feel like it is might be lifting ink but I'm not sure can't go too thick with this one yeah it's well it might be just coming off the stencil I don't think I wiped it off very well and then with this one I think you actually do add the heat so let me double check that Heat tool. Yep. That's what makes it pop. Okay, check this out. This is fun. Look at it pop. Popping like corn. You guys see that? didn't think we'd gone an hour yet, but I guess we did. My camera just shut off and said, hey. All right, let's see how that looks. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's wipe this ink off of here. Really quick, I need another towel. I've already made such a mess of the other ones. 
Hopefully the kids must be going somewhere soon. Uh, well, they're going leaving this afternoon. I guess they're probably getting ready. They're going to, I think they're going to a concert or something. I don't know what they're doing. I can't remember. I was sick when they told me. I have no idea. I just know I'm babysitting. Let's dry this really quick. I like this just the way it is, actually. But here's my thought. Wouldn't it be cute with some snow? Wouldn't it be cute? Okay, so we're going to just put a little bit here and there. I don't know how this is going to go. Ugh. Good grief. I just put it on there. And it's already stuck shut. <laughs> it's because I was grabbing the stuck on part. Okay. Just a little bit. Like if I go in and just get like the touch of the tip of the trees. Like just a little bit on there. Just here and there. You know? Like just dab it in places. I think it'll work. I know there's got to be enough of it to really do anything, but I think I can do that. What do you guys think? How do you, how's it going to turn out? Do you have an idea? Because it's, I don't want to put too much because it's um, opaque, so you're not going to be able to see the tree through it. So I just want to put a little bit here and there. It will expand. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> Just lift this up. Yes, that's cute so far. Let's hope it continues to be cute as it expands. All right, this is the last one, guys. So, it's the last one. I think this would make a really cute card, though, if it works the way I think it will. I think that's really cute. That definitely gives me some ideas to play with. Look how fun that is. It's got just the little bits of snow in there. I think that's super cute. I think that'll be fun to play with. I really, really do. Well, I hope you guys like that. So let me show you what we came up with. This is the one. This is the tree with the with the um, expand paste on it. This is. I think this is one of my very favorite. My favorite holiday tools right here. Um, these pastes though are going to be, I need to use them more obviously if I have two, two of the one. I think I got, anyway, this is the one with the, um, this is the grit paste, the translucent, uh, no, 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 no. This is the snowfall grit paste right here. So it's clear 
and it's gritty. It's not completely dry, but we can see how it's going to go. And um, it's got some sparkle in there. It's really pretty. I like that. It's very icy. Can you guys tell? Hopefully. And then this one is the... Um, this one is the Sparkle Texture Paste. It's not completely dry. Where you see it's a little bit more white over here, that's not dry yet, but these, this one's dry over here. So it's really translucent. It's got that glitter on top. It did not pull the color into the, into the paste, so that's kind of nice. Really pretty. I like the way it, um, it layered up there. And then we've got the embossing, the embossing powder on this one fun blending we did there. We've got the text, the um, ex expanding paste here. This one did pull the ink up, but I th again think that was because the ink was still really wet. I think if I would have dried that it would have been okay. But cute idea, right? Put a little snow on there. Then we did our embossing here. The different colors. I was. Um, this one was the oxide which did not lift like I was wondering if it would have a reaction or not and then this one was the ink and they're different colors so one's darker, darker than the other that's why then we did we the, we did the um, opaque on top the white and then we did the clear on the bottom some of the white obviously spread into the other and that's that's cool actually it looks neat we did uh, blue on top purple on the bottom nope that's how we did it here we did all different colors all over on this one, I've got some brown down here and everything, so. And then, one of our first ones. This was supposed to be clear, but it was not. And I actually really love this. I think I'm going to do more of this. Even though it's not traditional colors, in any way, shape, or form, I love that. I love the colors of it. And I love the, the I actually like the opaque. And this one, too, was the first one. It was supposed to be clear as well. But it wasn't. Actually, this one wasn't supposed to be clear. We were testing the other bottle to make sure. So this one was supposed to be clear. But I like it. I think it's super cute. So we got a lot done, guys. We played a lot. I think I learned a lot. I hope you did, too. Hope you learned with my mistakes as well. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks again for all your prayers and, and thoughts. And if you have not already hit that subscribe button, love it if you do. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.